So we are here with the first practice test for chapter one. We're going to get right to it. So problem one, when an $810,000 building is depreciated for tax purposes, the value Y after X months is given by that uh, equation. How many months will it be before the value of the building is less than $500,000? And how many months will it be before the building is fully depreciated? So let's go over to Wolfram here. We are going to just going to get at it through Wolfram and make this happen. Uh, our equation is y equals 810,000 minus 2250x. And so how many months will it take before the value of the building is less than 500,000? So total value is y. 500,000 goes in there. And so we can say that uh, 1,240 over 9, we are going to get an approximate form of that as a decimal. And we get 137.78 months. And so we're going to go ahead and round that up. So the value of the building will be less than $500,000 after 138 months. And pardon my misspeaking there, folks. I think I said 38 months. I meant 138 months. 138 is what Wolfram came up with for us on that one. And so next question, how many months will it take for the value of the building to be fully depreciated, which means a value of zero. And so we can go ahead and do the same thing, this time solving for zero. And we get 360 months. And so it will take 360 months, which is the equivalent of 30 years for the value of this building to be fully depreciated or for the building to be worth zero dollars. Okay, and so there you've got my written work. I'll be trying to pause these as I write so that you're not having to sit through me writing. And that's it for number one.